When I think of a roller coaster going through a pyramid, I think a Jaguar at Knott's Berry Farm. While not the most thrilling ride, I think it has one of the most iconic front car designs ever. However, this coaster will go upside down, so I also want the train to resemble a different kind of real world counterpart. The new Vacoma Luber trains, and even maybe approach the brilliance of the Tequani Beast front car. For the design portion, I used a free online software called OnShape. This is a software that Johnny used to design his Magnum trains. Johnny was kind enough to send me his files for the Magnum trains, and I was able to use Thingiverse to import a 3D file of the old Vekoma Looper trains. I modified the old Vekoma design, mostly lowering the sides and changing the area around the wheel assembly. I then merged the new train design with the bottom portion of Johnny's Magnum trains so I could attach Johnny's wheel assemblies. I did an initial test print, which turned out terribly. Turns out, my 3D filament was PLA, and because the temperature was too low on the initial print, it kept slipping as I printed each layer, creating this monstrosity. After adjusting the settings, I finally got it to print correctly. Then, I made some further alterations to the design, and then started printing using the color I really wanted for the final train. Blue. But I still had one more element to add. The zero car, the part that had to rival Jaguar in my head. So I found a bust of Anubis on Thingiverse, and added it to the zero car design. And then I decided to print it with a gold filament so it'd stand out even more. And then I printed the seat backs with that same gold filament. And finally, it was time to put the train on the tracks and test out what it would look like going through the course.